I love houses with a rich history, so when Graham and Brown came to me with the idea to create a capsule collection of old papers to celebrate the 75th anniversary, I was immediately on board. So Graham and Brown was founded at the end of the Second World War, at a time of our history where we needed to rebuild ourselves and also to reconstruct our home and to find a joie de vivre. Of course, today the situation is very different, but lately we all spend a lot of time at home and I thought it was the best time for us to collaborate and to do this collection together. Paper Games is a collection which celebrates the art of paper. This extraordinary medium, which is at the art of Graham and Brown works, as well as mine, of course. I thought of a common theme that could reflect our both origins, the art of paper cutting. This practice was very in vogue in the 18th century. The profiles of people were cut out in order to make portraits in a shadow-like style. In Great Britain, the art of paper cutting even inspired the famous porcelain maker Wedgwood for his jasper ware. And in Switzerland in the 19th century, the people of the mountain during the dark evening in the winter were cutting paper to create very nice landscapes. It is from all that that I transposed that technique to create a graphic collection which is on the same time contemporary and poetic. Graham and Brown is based in Blackburn in the UK and I live in Paris. So all our exchanges were through video link, which was totally new for me. However, it doesn't prevent us to work very closely together. I worked as usual, uh, doing my drawing, doing my collages, and I shared them with the creative team at Graham and Brown and everything went very smoothly and with a lot of joy. Do I have a favorite design in that collection? Look around you. Hide and seek. I love that design because it's mixing my both um, influences, which is my childhood in Switzerland, with those little sizzles, a bit naive, and those yellow ribbons of haute couture that I discovered when I came to Paris. But of course, I love all the other designs too. It's a colourful, fresh, poetic collection which might be adapted to many interiors. Even if the collection is short, the chromatic choice is quite extended as we have a saffron yellow, a dusk blue, a powdery pink and a navy blue sky. For the graphic patterns, we have black and white as I cannot do anything in decoration without them, of course, and also a very nice vanilla, a purple and an anthracite. Where do I find my inspiration? Well, it could be a movie, an exhibition, a book that I just found in an antique bookstore. But in reality, it's compiling all those informations together that uh, lead me to my eclectic style. The most important thing for me is to remain free, to be open to new ideas or projects without forbidding me anything. I always have those quotes in mind, the one from Gore Vidal saying style is knowing who you are and this other one which is more a secret than a quote from Madeleine Castin, my favorite decorator of the 20th century, saying love your home, love works miracles. <laughs>